Hello, welcome to SharePoint Journey. This is Devendra Venigandla. In this lesson, you will learn how to add a column to a list and how to edit that column type in a list in SharePoint 2010. So let's go ahead and open SharePoint site. This is our SharePoint site and we have few lists here. Let's open one of the list that is called ticket details. To add a new column, go to list, list settings and scroll down. You have option called create column. Click on create column. Enter the column name as in this case I am entering new column. Make it as single line text or any type of column you want to create, you can create. You have various types of columns here and click OK and you have one more option here while adding a column you can add that to all content types and add that column to default view both has been checked so click ok now if you go back to the list you can see that new column has been added here let's add an item to the list now so during the new item also we are getting new column so let's enter the details quickly Testing new column. Okay, the ticket number is four. Something. Okay, and the same thing. Test new column here also. Click save. Now you can see that the details has been added. So this is how we will add a new column to a list. And when you enter the data, that will show the data from the time onwards whether you start entering. For all the previous rows, there will be empty. Now, I I don't want this column type. Now I want to change the column type to let's say now we have a new column is of single line of text. I want to modify it to multiple lines of text. So now, new column we have option of plain text, rich text, enhanced. So I can choose the other type of columns also choices, member, currency, but if I choose different uh, types of column then I may lose the data so now I am going for multiple lines of text click ok now uh, you can see here it's a multiple lines of text let's go back to the default view now I can whenever we add a new item you can see here I can add multiple lines of text here earlier it was only single text so we have seen in this session how to add a new column to a list and how to edit a column to a list. Thank you for your time. We will see you in the next lesson.